Okay, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to combine two images together. Um, and this is a very handy tool if you're trying to make some type of collage, photo montage, um, or if you're trying to do the traditional Photoshop uh, method where you kind of take someone's face and put it on someone else's face or put somebody in another location or something like that. So anyway, first thing we need um, is we need more than one image. So the same concept applies for as many images as you want. I'm going to be demonstrating how to do this with two images. So first, I'm going to click here in Pixlr to open an image from my computer. Um, I have two images on my desktop. I'm going to open. I'm just going to open one up at a time to show you here. So first, I have Tony Stark as Iron Man. Um, and then I'm going to go File, Open, and I'm going to open another image, which is a picture of myself. Now, right now, these images are open kind of on top of each other in these two different photo view windows. And I can actually resize these windows um, if I wanted and kind of try to put them next to each other. I could also make them full screen and then switch between them um, using this little down arrow here. So now they're both full screen and I can go back and forth or minimize or maximize however I want to do it. So first, let me just show you if you want to take, say, a full image and put it on top of another full image. So if I just want to take this whole image here, I'm going to grab my, uh, my mass selection tool. That's this one right here, your marquee tool. And I'm just going to drag a box around this entire image to give me my dotted lines. I'm going to hit edit, copy, change to my Iron Man image, and hit edit, paste. And now what that did, and if you look over here on the layers, it has the background layer, which is Iron Man, and it has layer one, which is the image just pasted. And what's happening now is this picture of myself is a very, very high quality image. So we just paste it into a low quality image. So what we actually need to do is change the size of this to make it fit. Um, so I'm just going to go edit, free transform, and I'm just going to kind of hold shift and keep dragging down the corners here to scale this image down. Um, like so. And then I can hit enter to save and now I have both these images, oops, I have both these images on top of one another. And if I use say the eraser tool, I could go through and actually erase away, you know, the background of this. Now I'm going to demonstrate just how to do this a different method. So I deleted that layer. I went back to this one. I'm going to deselect here. And I could also use, instead of the square marquee, I could use the round marquee. So say I could take just my face, same thing, copy, paste. Um, or I can actually use the lasso tool to draw uh, my own custom marquee. So if I were to zoom in here, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I'm just trying to navigate a little bit better here, sorry. If we go ahead, and I'm just going to kind of lasso around my head here. Same concept, and I'm not really going to do that great of a job. I'm going to kind of rush through this for the demonstration purposes. So if I were to take my time, really do a clean job around the edges, that would be, of course, better quality, but hey. Okay. Edit. Copy. Just a little arrow to switch to Iron Man. Edit. Paste. I'm going to do a quick, oops, not new tab, sorry. I'm going to do a quick edit, free transform. Let's scale this down. And the idea is that I want to make myself Iron Man. So I'm just going to get this to roughly the right scale. I'm going to rotate it slightly here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And I'm going to erase away what I don't want. So to make my life easier, I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to change the opacity of my face. See how that works out. And I'm going to try to use the eraser tool here to erase away what I don't want. So let's see. Uh, actually, that's not really working out too well. Change of plans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my face. And I'm going to lasso out. And I'm going to erase Tony Stark's face. See how this works. Nah. 
Let's actually erase Tony Stark's face. Now what you're seeing this dotted line here is you're actually seeing the transparent, the what's behind the Iron Man image, which of course is nothing. This is the base layer, so you're actually seeing the dotted line is kind of like the transparency behind. And again, I'm kind of rushing here, but you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and erase Tony Stark from the picture. Just using the basic eraser tool. And in order to edit the background layer, you do need to unlock it first. Um, so I just double click the actual lock symbol to edit the background layer. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order. So I'm going to turn back on my face here. Oops. I realize I erased a hole in my face. Hang on one sec. Let's delete this. And I'm going to recopy it from over here. So I'm just going to do a real quick copy. Real quick paste. Again, let's transform. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this so it's actually behind. And I'm going to get this in position. And again, I'm, I'm just, oops, I'm sorry. I keep clicking Command Tab instead of just Control Tab here. My apologies. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and scale my face. So it is I that is Iron Man here. Something like that, right? So you can go ahead and you can combine your images together like so. And of course, you can always just hit File, Save, and then now this will compress into one image.